And now, please welcome the athletes to the field of play for the compound men's semifinal matchup number two. Time to find out who will be going for gold and who will be going for bronze in the compound men's semi-final and number two it's time to return to the shooting line on target number one representing india Pratamesh Joga. on target number two representing the netherlands mike schlosser The last judge for this matchup is Carlos Hernandez. Oh, what a story this one is. Well, what a lineup we've got. Perhaps Mesh Jalkar from India, the 20 year old, qualified by winning in Shanghai, takes on the ranking qualifier of world number one, Mike Schlosser from the Netherlands. These archers have met twice before last the meeting borders. in Shanghai this year in the gold medal final. The Jalkar won 149 to 148. But it's Schlosser to shoot first. Ten. Ten. Well, this one promises to be something special. 147 from Schlosser in the quarterfinals, 149 from Jalka. Ten. Very solid. I was looking forward to this match, and I'm sure that whoever wins here is going to have a cracking match for the gold medal against Fullerton. That's going to be exciting. Ten. Ten, 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 perfect school. X, X, X as well, push this up. Ten, 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 and that is a perfect score as well. So both going perfect, oh, there a bit of confidence. What's the difference? Shlosser here is uh, here's ten, ten, ten three on X's. Both sides of the field, perfect start, perfect match. Three X's compared Those to an X and two tens team. from uh, no pressure here on the two I believe so. I, I think he can, can hear it, or if he's paying attention, to, to, attention to, to the commentary the on venue, the announcing on, on site. But, but uh, uh, as an archer, you do feel the shots that go in the X and the ones that go in the 10. It can happen sometimes that like a really good shot that you felt great lands in the 10 and, and then the not so great one goes in the X. But uh, I think both of them are on great form. And uh, yeah, they're feeling, they're, they can tell the difference between the great shots and the, the good ones. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? That it's not just about the score. Of course, now at this level, tens are, are almost a requirement. Uh, you may maybe get away with one or two nines and still win a match. Uh, but it's, it's the, that level that they're at, that they're able to hit the middle of the target so consistently. Schlosser starts the second. No one outside the middle of the target yet. Nine. Right on cue. <laughs> Just had to say it. Perhaps he's listening to us. Just to add some pressure, he's listening to the commentary. Ten. Jumper staying calm. Giving too much away here. Looks like that one clipped the line to me. Yeah, yeah, I think it's in. But uh, just weird the whole group shifting. You know, he had three axes, great group to start, and all Ten. of a sudden to the left. Jalkar also a little bit to the left. I wonder if it's the wind a little bit. It doesn't really look like, but um, Schlosser didn't seem very phased about the point he dropped in the beginning. Ten. And he's back at it. Moving his height a little bit more. 
Jack Owen with a chance to take the lead against Mr. Perfect. Looks like he's just about the line there. And stays perfect with a 60. A fascinating matchup this one. Jack in his debut international season at his first finals. Having won the stage in Shanghai. Mike Schlosser going after the title number five, believe it or not. Last three in Moscow in 2019, Yankton in 2021, and Tuxcala in 2022. To add to the 2016 title he won in Odense, he's a 10 times stage winner, nine times silver, five times bronze, and only the second man to complete the world triple, winning indoor, outdoor, and field titles in his career. Second man only to Morgan London. To the first. We're talking about so he knows what different is. sides of the sport Mr. here, a debutant in Jalka and a man who's been at the top of the game for an awfully long time. Definitely one of the best of his generation. Max Schlosser is, will, I believe, will always be the guy to beat, you know. Yeah. Start of the third. Schlosser in the middle. Ten. Ten. Clean execution by Schlosser. I believe that the issue he had last end was probably just down to the side or maybe a little bit of wind. Ten. And Jalkar's group is more spread. I think he's not quite so comfortable, quite so dialed in as Schlosser. Ten, ten, ten. Perfect score. But he's still got it into the 10 and affords himself a little smile at the end. We let down, you, and you talked about uh, Schlosser being a little bit more dialed in. If that was the hiccup end for Jalka, <laughs> not bad, three tens. But the one thing I've noticed is that's the coach. Coach Kevin Carlotto, sorry, Gabby Schlosser, I should say, uh, in the box for. Uh, Mike, her that husband, and Yeah, that's surprising. I, I wonder what happened here. Um, and I see Jokar in a, in a similar situation as, as Fullerton. I think his shots are not quite so smooth. The execution is not in, you know, quite to his liking, but they're, they're within the 10. And um, sometimes this is what makes a difference, is when when you are in your really good day, the bad shots, the mistakes, if we can call it like this, they're still within the 10. They're still good enough. And uh, this can make a difference. But Schlosser seems to be really on top form here. And he can challenge for the win. Well, just a point in it. Schlosser trailing as we go into the fourth. Ten. He's been in this position many times before, and there's no sign from Schlosser of any nerves or tension. Ten. Equally, Jacko hasn't missed the middle of the target. Ten. the tension building with every single arrow right now becoming a sort of a countdown Ten. edge of the seat stuff Ten, ten, ten. beautiful arrows there from that Mike Schlusser a perfect score 
or 119 out of 120. Still clinging on to the perfect score. 120 out of 120 for Prathamesh Samaran Jalkar. On for a perfect 150. They fancy you've got a chance of doing it and taking out Mr. Perfect. Yes, uh, I'm afraid that nine was just an unfortunate, unfortunate arrow by Schlosser. Uh, I think he is he seems to be more consistent in my opinion in this match right, and the only blip was Brown that nine and maybe that will be too costly uh, 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 like I said I see Jokar just a Fullerton oscillating more a uh, more spread within the 10 but it's 10 points all the same and this is what he needs so he just needs to focus on his last three arrows and then he'll be on his way to the gold medal final I think that look says it all. 119 under possible 120, but Mike Schlosser is trailing and shoots first in the fifth. It's <laughs> a little uh, messy. That was a scare. Ten. Keeping his cool. Ten. Water off a duck's back, straight into the ten for Mike Schlosser after the scare with the first arrow. Ten. Is this one going to drift away from Prathamesh Dalkar? So far, so good. Ten, ten, ten. Finishes with a 149 out of 150, a score that usually would win the match, but Jalkar, a 10 required, coming off the trigger on the last arrow. But somehow he stays in the middle, a sigh of relief, but another 150, and it was required from Prakamash Jalkar to beat Mike Schlosser, Mr. Perfect. Uh, what a match that was. Prathamesh Jalkar from India, a Shanghai stage winner, has made it through to the gold medal match here in Hermosilio, beating Mike Perfect, who will come back out first for a bronze medal playoff. Well, Padano, we waited a while to get a perfect score, and now we've had two in a row. Amazing stuff, amazing stuff by Jokar, and I think that this match, you know, it, it resonates with the rest of Mike Schloss's season.